Even before the scientific mission, the James Webb Space Telescope was impacted by micrometeoroids, or cosmic dust grains. Fortunately, the debris didn't impede the mission's schedule, but the risk is not over. Webb is expected to be struck by particles from astronomical objects at least once a month, according to scientists involved in its construction. This frequency, however, might increase depending on the environment through which the telescope is moving. James Webb is expected to encounter Halley's Comet's trail in May 2023, and again in 2024. In essence, the $10 billion equipment will be subjugated to a massive meteor shower, with pebbles the size of a grain of sand, capable of reaching speeds up to 10 kilometers per second. Engineers are now working on a solution to the challenges created by the cosmic dust. Hubble, for example, has a protective shell surrounding it. But Webb is fully unprotected in the vicinity of Lagrange 2 Point, over 1,500 kilometers from Earth. However, there is no reason to be concerned about the comet itself. It is not projected to return to the solar system until 2061, when it will travel near to Earth. Because James Webb's mission is only expected to last 10 years, the telescope will be inoperable when Halley returns. It is worth noting that the ice body is responsible for the Eta Aquarids and Orionids meteor showers, which occur in May and October, respectively. Both generate an average of 20 shooting stars every hour, making for a spectacular sky display. If you want to learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope and stay up to date, like, subscribe, check our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.